Once you have your temperatures and voltages entered into your data sheet, and hopefully you'll have more data and maybe some better numbers than I have here, you'll um, want to make a plot of that data. And the type of plot we want is a symbol plot, because that's how we do scatter plots, but we want X and Y error. So we can assign our columns. A is our X column. And then C is our X error. B is our Y column and D is our Y error. And initially it comes up with axes labeled correctly, but the in it has the incorrect scale. So what we can do is plot setup and we can just click rescale here. And so now we have our data points. You can see there's a little bit of scatter. And of course we don't want a legend, so let's get rid of that. And we do want a linear regression. So we can do that here. We can do a, get to that here, fitting linear fit with X error. And if, if you haven't done that before, you, can, you won't have the last used version. So just click OK. And put the re results in a sheet. So here we have all the statistics. From that, our intercept value with standard error of that, our slope value with standard error of that. And so we can use that to answer our post lab question where it asks, what is the slope dvdt at 25 degrees and the, with standard deviation at 95% confidence interval. So you can figure that out here. You have the slope and standard error for that, for that value. On your graph, it also has the results here. They're kind of hard to see. Actually, you don't want to report this on, on your graph. Reporting it in your results section as a text would be uh, probably the best way to do this. So these are, but you can see these are the exact same numbers as we have here. So since we have the numbers here, we don't need them on the graph. We'll just delete that. And then this is our graph. We can copy the graph, send the graph to PowerPoint. We can save the graph. We can export the graph. into a um, format that we could then import into Word. For example, we could make a JPEG. And this is our EMF versus T plot. And then we can open that up in Word for our lab report.